Hello, people of the world. Hello, people of the world. Hello, people of the world. Today, I bring to you a tag video. So I was tagged by Steve at Just Steve's channel, who you should go check out. And this tag was created by Abby Wells, who you should also check out. So without further ado, the behind the scenes tag. What video of yours has the most views? So my most viewed video is a singing video that isn't actually a video, it was it was literally just just a song. It was my cover of The Hanging Tree from Mockingjay that was uploaded in like 2009. And the original melody was by Kimmy West of Mockingjay.net. So I was like a really like engaged fan at the time of like fan sites and stuff. And then that video has like 8,000 views. And then the list after that is just like a bunch of footage from like middle school and also high school uh, musical performances. But the first vlog video that comes up is my video about why Netflix sucks. So that just shows what the public is interested in. What video have you viewed the most times? So I have no idea how I would go about figuring this out, but it's probably going to end up being some kind of song from like 2010 or something. I had a phase where I was just listening to lots of songs on YouTube over and over again. Honestly, it might be a song about an anglerfish by Hank Green. <laughs> So let's just go with that. Who do you spend the most time watching? These days, it's probably definitely Michael Aranda because he posts probably the highest quantity of videos and also each video is relatively long. And then the fact that I actually watch the videos instead of spending like half the time listening to it while doing other things is a pretty big factor too. How many people are you subscribed to? I think YouTube just changed its format because I cannot find the number. Last time I checked, it was probably around 150 something. What's a favorite comment on one of your videos? So my all-time favorite comment, it feels like a non sequitur just within the environment of comments. And it's on one of my really strange videos that was just me eating, which was how to go on a date with yourself. And it just says, just found your video when I was also Googling how to go on a date with yourself. Subscribed. I, I don't know why, but it just makes me laugh every time I think about it. And I don't know, just the, the, the tone of the comment was such an endearing tone. And I really appreciate it, man. Have you ever left a comment on another video that you're ashamed of? I feel like I get embarrassed every time a relatively bigger YouTuber replies to my comment. The first time I had someone do that was Wheezy Waiter, I think. And the comment that he replied to was just this really offhand kind of like casual thing that I was just like, why was it this comment? Why? What is in your watch later playlist? So I use that playlist mostly to mark the last video of someone's that I've watched that when I know that there are several videos that I'm missing and it currently is entirely composed of crash course videos from like three years ago because it's just been that long since I watched a crash course video. I'm really excited for crash course philosophy though. I'm definitely gonna start watching that. And then there's also like five different origami videos for things that I really like making. Some Kusudama stuff and then a unicorn by Joe Nakashima, which it's like my favorite thing, but it takes like three hours to make so. <laughs> Do you have any hidden videos slash playlists? Middle school video projects? And then I have a bunch of random unlisted stuff that are like meant for my friends. Like there's one that's literally like five seconds of a tangerine rolling, which is completely out of context for anyone else, so I wouldn't have wanted that to be like, whoa, it's a new video from me, wait, it's five seconds. And then I also have just a couple of outtakes from videos that I didn't want to get rid of, even though they have no value, and I just put them as unlisted. And then I have random links within the actual video, which very few people ever click, so that's a good thing. Don't go back and find them. There is literally no point. And then I have a couple of hidden playlists from like my past in like 2008 where I listened to a lot of classical music. I think half of those videos are now taken down or private. So I just kind of hit it because there's no point in people knowing this. What are the last five videos in your history? A caveat to this is that I turned on the watch later thing and then I forgot to turn it off. So there's like a bunch of stuff in there that was just 
the watch later thing playing while I wasn't watching. So I'm just gonna skip those. So the first video is um, Abby Wells' TMI tag because I'm filming this like 15 minutes after she uploaded it. And then there's 24 historical inaccuracies in Disney movies from Mental Floss. Probably the best video about learning how to draw from Wheezy Waiter. Why? From Andrew Huang. You can kind of see that this is just going down my sub list right now. And then Animal Survival Skills Poison Edition from SciShow. And then after that, Are There Gays in Space by Tyler Oakley. Earth Ships Living Off the Grid by The Good Stuff. And then um, Fish Eye Placebo Hello World Part 2 English by Visual Raid. Wait, that, that was like definitely more than five. But um, that video is actually pretty cool because there's this artist that I follow. She goes by Yume online and her art is like the best thing ever. And Fish Eye Placebo is one of her comics. So these people at Visual Raid are basically animating her comics and they're doing it in a way that's like really nice and completely preserves her style and their voice acting is also pretty awesome. Definitely go check both of those things out and I'm gonna just stop going down my list now. So who do you tag? I tag. I, sh I should have thought of this before. So I'm gonna tag a few of my friends. I don't know if you'll ever see these. So Indy, I am tagging you and also Cindy because that rhymes, I guess. And my mind is blanking right now because I didn't prepare for this. Who do I even know? Uh, Liz at High Waisted Pantaloons. I think you've been tagged already, but I'm just gonna do that again. And I guess I'll just go out there and tag Yume. She's been posting a bunch of art tutorials online. I know that like showing her face and being vloggy is not a thing that she's doing, but you know, we can all try. And I guess that's it. Thanks again to Steve for tagging me and to Abby for creating this tag. It was pretty fun to look through my YouTube background and see what I've been doing or not doing or not watching. <laughs> I hope that tag taught you something about me, I guess. And I will see you next time.